in the Okefenokee Swamp and I didn't bring the teardrop this time. I actually went here with a friend of mine that I grew up with. I've known him since I was five years old and uh, we're actually on the tail end of it this time but I'm just first finally getting the chance to talk. So yesterday we paddled in about eight miles or so, seven or eight miles and uh, really there isn't any land in here so um, about the first land we saw was where the campsite was and there's just like a platform built out over over the water. Um, it's been really cool. We've seen a ton of alligators and uh, seen some owls and some sandhill cranes, um, a lot of turtles. It's been a really cool place actually. Um, we went with this guide service. I, normally I don't go with the guide service but this friend of mine set it up. and. And um, guy's just a wealth of knowledge. But it's been fun. Um, the Okefenokee is a really cool place. Sharks are really simple stimulus response predators. Alligators think much more than sharks do. Alligators have the capacity to think in a way that sharks don't. Alligator doesn't have a big brain, but he's got basically a cerebral cortex. It's small compared to ours, but the structure of an alligator's brain is more akin to that of a bird's than it is to any other reptile. But yeah, they, they, they think more than we've historically given them credit, you know, for doing. They, uh, they communicate. They care for their young. You know, they, they've, got, they've got whole suites of behaviors that we consider to be the behaviors of so-called higher vertebrates, but that we do not see in lizards and snakes and turtles, but we do see it in
the world is a really big place, and there's a lot of places that are really hard to get to. And so on this channel, we're going to some of the ones that aren't so hard to get to, but maybe not everybody knows about. And the Okefenokee Swamp is one of them. It's, um, it's probably, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half outside Jacksonville, Florida. It's near Waycross, Georgia. Um, you know, it's within a day's drive of a good bit of the southeast United States. And there's just so much to see here. It doesn't take much to, uh, to enjoy it. You just need a kayak or a canoe. There are tour groups you can do here. That's actually what we're doing this time. It's not usually my style to um, do a tour group, but a friend of mine decided to set this up, and this is kind of what he does. So but the guy we're with, his name is Chip, and he's just a wealth of knowledge. He knows pretty much everything about this swamp, about the ecology, about the history. And, you know, there's places like this everywhere. It's just people don't bother to find out about it. They just get comfortable and stay where they're at and do the same things all the time. And it's just really, it's kind of a shame because there's so much life to experience. And a lot of it's not hard to do, but people get into their routines and into their ruts. And there's a lot of experiences that are lost. So I'd encourage you to get out and see life and do things, and experience new places and new people. It doesn't always cost a lot of money. This certainly didn't. You don't have to get onto an airplane to see new things. Anyway, we do a lot more stuff like this on this channel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm not sure where we're going next time, but we've got more adventures coming up.